Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I thought we would check out this gel food colors together. I bought this at Target. It was pretty affordable for the brand. It's a set of four. You have magenta, orange, teal, and purple. It tells you how to work with it. I'm just going to open them. As you can see, I broke the whole thing. And this is what they look like. This is how much you get, but I'm not sure how much you get per bottle. But it seems like you get a ton. So I'm just going to be testing this out first with some fondant. So just to be fair here, I'm just going to divide this into four. First the pink one. And again, I bought it because I need my squeeze bottles when I'm working with gel food colors. So I think they are essential. They make everything easier and go faster. You don't have to use toothpicks or anything like that. I'm gonna add one more drop to see what I get. So far, I'm liking it. Pretty close to it. I don't know what you guys think. I liked the pink one. I mean, as messy as you can see, I have it all over the place. It kind of like stained my fingers. Now the orange. Slider, this one. I needed more vibrant dough. I'm just going to squid more. This is so like Halloween-y, fall-ish. So this is what the orange looks like. To be honest, I bought this set because of this one. I just, I'm gonna add a bit more. Well, so far, it looks like that, the purple. So I like this brand, Wilton. And when I saw this, I wanted to give that a try because I like the colors that the set offers. If I'm out of focus at some point, sorry guys, I'm just, Looking at this, I don't have any camera, man. This is all me. This is really pretty. I think I got what I paid for. So out of the four, the pink is the one that stains the most. And it's the most, I guess, vibrant one. If you can, if you want, if you have, just wear some gloves when you're using this because I did all of this later and I still have some pink in there. Just gonna divide this into four again. I just wanna see how lighter you can make them. So yeah, is it with the pink one? If you want pastel, just barely add anything. But I like the pink shade, I think it's real pretty. So guys, and the trick to get the lightest is to place it really close to the bottle, but not touch the squeeze bottle because it's gross. Without squeezing it, just with whatever is in there. Put it upside down, just pick it up from there. The pink has been the most pigmented one. And the orange doesn't have as much pigment to it. And this teal one, I think this is a really pretty color. It reminds me of like Tiffany boxes. I think this is a really pretty color. So I'm just gonna cover them with some clean pack. Let's check on them 24 hours from now. Also, if I can find ingredients in my kitchen, I'm just going to test this with some buttercream. Just to see how this set reacts with buttercream. But so far guys, I am happy with it. I think Wilton is a good brand. It's not the only one, but it's a good brand. They have quality and they are accessible, which is a good thing. But I never was a fan of using a toothpick to add my gel food coloring. I didn't want to, you know, keep on using a used toothpick into a, a buttercream. Clean pack drives me crazy. Am I the only one here? I did my homework, did some buttercream. First, I'm gonna be working with the pink, and I'm actually scared to do this because I know now how pigmented that it is. Sometimes you get like tiny spots or dots all over the place, and I wanna see if this one's uh, do that. This is with buttercream how it looks like. I'm gonna add one more drop to see what happens. It's funny, when I was working with fondant, it was just like too pigmented, and with this buttercream, I just keep on adding. I don't know what it is, maybe it's butter. And I don't see any like tiny pink spots anywhere. So the pink is really pretty. Pretty much looks like what it says in backs. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Now the orange. What I'm going to add more. It's kind of tricky this one. After full six wraps, this is what I got. To me, this doesn't look as pigmented as like the box. So that's that. And then if you look up close, it has like tiny orange dots and I mixed it a lot. I don't want to add a lot of like gel food coloring. I feel like three drops is more than enough. And I added six and this is what I got. So the orange is not my fave from this set. So the teal. I have high hopes and dreams for this one. If you're going for a Tiffany's team take, I feel like this is gonna be a good color. This is pretty, but I'm going to add a bit more. This one is like minty. So this is what I have so far. I think it looks pretty similar to the box one. Now I can see some like dots in there. I've been mixing this for a while. And now the purple one. So this is what the purple looks like now. I added like about maybe three drops. It looks pretty similar to that one. This one is pretty much the same issue. 
it has those tiny dots. The color is really pretty, but again, daddy issue. As far as coloring goes, they look like this. Those dots, the pink one doesn't have anything, the rest have them. I'm noticing more towards the purple one and the orange one. This one has them, but they're not as contrasting as with these two. And the fondant ones, they don't have those spots in there. Here's the orange one and the teal one. It looks excellent in a fondant. Vibrant, perfect. I don't really have any realizing to just try them so I can make this kind of thing but with fondant I guess it's pretty much the same result. And as far as taste goes, some gel food colorings have like an aftertaste to them. This one doesn't. It tastes like buttercream. I'm gonna keep on using them obviously. I'm really into this teal one. I think it looks really cute. They're okay, they're fine. I mean if you're somewhere at like Target and you're in a hurry, just go ahead and get those ones because they're easy to work with. In fondant they look amazing. But yeah, not so much in like classic buttercream. So hopefully I help you guys to just find out if this set works for your decorating needs or if it doesn't. And hopefully you like this one. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys!